For those who missed the live action in the UFC Vegas 13, here are the full results. Gustavo Lopez opened up the UFC Vegas 13 preliminary card with an impressive victory after dominating a returning Anthony Birchak in the first round. Birchak started off fast, landing a hard leg kick that caused Lopez to limp momentarily. However, Lopez quickly turned the tables, landing a huge overhand right that backed Birchak up to the fence. Lopez turned a series of blows before sinking in the rear naked choke that forced his opponent to tap. And with the win, Lopez moved to 12 and 5, while Birchak falls to 16 and 7. Moving on to the welterweight division, Max Griffin is a man with a mission from start to finish against Octagon debutant Ramis Brahimach after he scored a knockout victory in the third round. In the third round, Griffin was sharp and continued to punish Brahimach after a series of shots along the fence, and nasty elbow that sliced the newcomer's ears. Referee Mark Smith stopped the fight at 2 minutes and 3 seconds in the third round. With a win, Griffin moves to 16 and 8, while the New York native Brian Maj falls to 8 and 3. Darren Elkins defeated Eduardo Garagori by submission. In the third round, it looked like Garagori was going to take a victory as he continued to land hard shots, but as he tried to throw the knee, Elkins took advantage by locking his foe up until he ended in the rear naked choke and secured his victory. With a win, Elkins moves to 26 and 9, while Garagori falls to 13 and 2. Let us move to the heavyweight action. Alexander Romanov kept his perfect pro record intact in the Las Vegas as he defeated Marcos Rogerio de Lima via first round submission. The Moldovian Romanov kept the pressure on and eventually getting his second takedown with a less than a minute left. And after landing with some strikes, a forearm choke ended the bout at 4 minutes and 48 seconds of the opening frame. With a win, the undefeated Romanov moves to 13 and 0 while the Lima falls to 17 and 8 and 1. Another spectacular finish brought us by the middleweight prospect Trevin Giles as he scored a huge third round stoppage of Bevan Lewis. It's a huge finish by Trevin Giles, 3 months after he fainted prior to a scheduled fight with Kevin Holland and had to be taken to the hospital. Giles is obviously healthy now and look really solid in that bout against Lewis. With a win, Giles moved to 13 and 3 while Lewis falls to 7 and 3. And for the main card, Yan Shaunan defeated Claudio Gadoha by unanimous decision. The fighters exchanged strikes to start the bout with a stiff job from Gadoha setting up a takedown in the opening minute. Yan managed to avoid the takedown and use her speed and command off. This tends to have a solid round and outstriking her opponent. Gadoha did get to lock up with her opponent in the final round but was unable to take her down. The number 8 rank Yan moves to 13 and 1 with 1 no contest, while the number 4 rank Gadoha falls to 18 and 5. And in featherweight action, Giga Chikatsky continued his winning streak to 7 after a victory over a newcomer, Jamie Simons. A kick to the body followed by a huge kick to the head drops Simon into the canvas. Chikatsy powerful ground strikes called the attention of the referee to stop the fight at, at the 3 minutes and 51 marks of the opening frame. And with the win, Chikatsy moves to 12 and 2 while Simon falls to 7 and 3. Ronnie Barcelos defeated Khalid Taha by unanimous decision. The high level striking continued into round 2. Both fighters staying in the range but relentless Barcelos Rony had Taha in trouble at the end of the round 2. Barcelos kept pouring on the offense in the third, using his striking to set up a takedown that was followed by a choke attempt. No doubt, two fighters kept their best but Rony got the official attention and landed a victory over Taha and extend his winning streak to 9. With a win, Barcelos now moves to 16-1 while Taha falls to 13-3 and and won no contest. And for the co-main event, Andrei Arlovsky defeated Tanner Bozer by unanimous decision. The former champion Andrei Arlovsky outpointed Tanner Bozer over three rounds to make it three wins in his last four bouts. Arlovsky did his best to just that in the third round as he landed the harder shots on the Canadian who focused more on leg kicks and quick punches upstairs. With a win, Arlovsky now moves to 30 and 19 to no contest while Bozer falls to 19 and 7. And last but definitely not the least, let us move on to the main event. 
the 41-year-old Tessera defeated Thiago Santos via submission. The ageless wonder Glover Tessera wins round one after looking like he was almost going to get knockout in the early portion of the first stanza. And less than 10 seconds in round two, Tessera looking to finish Santos via rear naked choke, but luckily Santos was saved by the bell. Santos rocked Tessera to start the third, but Tessera weathers the storms and eventually wins via submission. That's five in a row now for the 41-year-old Tessera. With a win, Glover Tessera moves to 32-7 and while Thiago Santos falls to 21-8. and And that's all for your UFC Vegas 13. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.